Hello, I'm starting a new series called Little Info or Research. Oh no, I'll, I'll probably go with Little Research. But so basically, <clears throat> I'm going to come up with uh, answers for stuff that I did like zero research on. Uh, just because that that sounds fun. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is why you are good at games the first time but any other time you're just not good at it so i think uh like a good way to put this is say you just got a game D- doesn't matter what uh you're probably going to be good the first time you play it like the first few minutes but then as soon as you die like a few times you're just going to be awful at it so, I like to put it as beginner's luck. A lot of other people do that. You have heard of that. I'm, I'm, I'm not coming up with a new revolutionary term. But, so, I think what that basically means is, say you roll a dice. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll go grab a dice. Okay, so, I have a dice. If I roll it... And I call what the number will be, <clears throat> um, just a regular dice that's from d d If I roll this and guess what it will be, I'll guess, uh, I'll, I'll guess two numbers, two or three. Well, it rolled five, so that's fine. Do it again. Five. Okay. Well, five. Uh, bad, bad thing. No, that, that, that was not not very good. Um, but so, jeez, Kyle. So basically, uh, what that saying is, you're going to be good. Just totally disregard that point. Just so, uh, like, uh, a. Point of evidence. In this video, it's on my channel. Uh, go watch it if you haven't. Otherwise, I don't care. Uh, I, I, I don't remember what it was called, but basically, I made a death run, and I was doing like a walkthrough for it. And the beginning part of it, I was doing except exceptionally well, but at the end, I was doing a little worse, and that's when I cheated and stuff, so, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go with that was beginner's luck, and if you do something the first time, you're going to predict, oh, well, I'm probably pretty bad at this, but you accidentally do it well, so, then, you die, or lose, doesn't matter, uh, in your new present self is like, oh, well, now I actually gotta get good at this. Let me think of ways I could get better. So with that, I bring my next piece of evidence or data. I, I don't know. It's a video some of you might have seen. I, I don't know. I don't care. Just if you have, cool. If you haven't, I'll put like an info card or something of it. Might be in the description. I, I don't know. Uh... So, uh, basically, it's a video by Markiplier, uh, it's called Three Rage Games, and the video has, uh, him for the first game, uh, playing a game called, like, I don't know, Fish Out of Water, I, I think that's what it's called. So, he said, um, why was I doing so well at this? It's like flipping a coin. I'm going to land on this on its edge, but never land on it again, which is another point. Uh, him being good was because he didn't know what he was doing. Him not knowing what he was doing meant that he wanted to get better. Getting better meant that he would get worse. And until later, with trial and error, he then manages to get to the end. But if he just totally didn't learn anything from it, he probably would have gotten to the end faster than if he didn't. 
And I, I think that's, there might be a lesson in that. I don't know. I'm not going to reach for that. I, I don't care. But, uh, basically, it's just like, uh, if you're going to play a game, don't, don't take this advice. Don't, don't take this. But if you're going to play a game, play it once, wait like a month, and then continue playing it, wait for a month, keep playing it. You're not going to know what you're doing, and it's the essential basic of beginner's luck. But don't, don't take that advice. I, I don't remember that.